you just stop playing in the faculty parking lot? See? You've lost another life. Oh, and how is life treating you this morning, Mr. Schneider? Better than it's treating Clawford, Headmistress Crone. Thanks again for the personalized parking plot. I'm honored. You've earned it. You took over a class of misfit kids that I was ready to expel. Ah, uh, deep down, they're just normal kids. Normal monster kids. Well... Keep up the good work. Ta-da! Schneider. Does this one belong to you? Cleopatra, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. And it's all Mr. Boneyard's fault for not getting bigger doors on this crate. Ugh. If I bust a bandage, I'm gonna sue. Don't strain yourself, Cleo. I'll, I'll help you out. Hey, what a touch. Sorry, Mr. Schneider. That's okay. I heal quickly. Oh, Frankentite! I'm gonna tear you limb from limb! No way, man. Promises, promises. Oh. You know, Schneider, you're all right. For a human. Gee, that means a lot. Coming from a monster like you, Mr. Boneyard. Well, guess that's it. You forgot about me. What's the big idea? Let me out of here. Sorry, Sid. Didn't notice you. Oh, that's the story of my life. Are you kidding me? Sid, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. But I was yelling so hard I got a sore throat. <coughs> when you're an invisible kid, no one ever notices you. That's why I'm the class clown. <laughs> Thank you so much. Pretty funny, Sid. But you don't have to be the class clown. I know you're here.
morning, Mr. Tutner. <laughs> morning, Schneider. Yeah, I had Tutner for history. That 2,000 year old breath is murder. <laughs> Boy, wait till Schneider gets a load of this. Well, this is rarely me. I couldn't do a thing with my snakes this morning, Cleo. Don't worry, Doozer. I'll whip them into shape before Vinny gets here. <laughs> Cleo! How many times do I have to tell you I do not have a crush on Vinny Stoker? Hmm. Hey, that's my diary! Get it back! Sometimes I wonder if Vinny Stoker even knows I'm alive. <laughs> this is juicy stuff, man. Uh oh Hand over the diary, flathead! Hey, back up, bimbo! What's going on here? He swiped my diary! What the... Please, everybody, back to your seats! What about my diary? Hey, somebody lose a book? Kinda looks like a diary. Vinny Stoker, read that and you're dead! I can live with that. Glad you could join us, Vinny. I've got everyone's undivided attention. We can begin today's class with a very simple question. What do you want to be when you grow up? And in Frank and Tyke's case, I hope it's not an artist. Oh, oh, I know what I want to be. Okay, Sid, you're on. Great, because that's exactly where I want to be. On stage, with a packed audience, standing room only. <laughs> Whoa, move over, Robin Williams, because here comes Sid the Invisible Comic. Whoa, fantastic. Kids, let's hear you clap. Sid's gonna do a monster rap. Hey there, Reggie, you're super smart. But when it comes to chicks, you need a jump start. And Cleo here is always grooving. Talking or eating, her mouth's always moving. Blanche has yards of credit cards. They're all expired, but so is she. She shopped till she dropped, now she's a zombie. JP's a twerp that don't need to work Cause he's got big bucks, but he's such a jerk Very funny, Sid. Come on, class. Let's hear it for Sid. Thank you for that warm applause. You're a great audience. <coughs> Fine, Sid. Now, let's hear from someone else. Well, hey, I'm just getting warmed up. I've got lots of jokes. And what about my Michael Jackson impression? <coughs> Put a zipper on it, Sid. Yeah, you stink, man. <laughs> okay, now that's enough. Settle down, or we're not going to accomplish anything. Hey, forget it, Teach. We're not supposed to accomplish anything. Why do you think we're in this dead-end class, huh? I can tell you why I'm in this class. I'm here to teach. And as long as I am, you're here to learn. And if you can't handle that, Mr. Stoker, there's the window. Whoa, Teach, hey, don't bust a blood vessel. I was just thinking out loud. Whoa, sorry I'm late, teacher dude, but there were some bodacious waves breaking down in the swamp. <laughs> hey, Gil, watch where you're slinging that seaweed. I'm sorry, Sid, dude, didn't see ya. Hey, little dude. Hey, Cleo, don't bogart those French flies. Well, glad you could join us, Gil. Now, let's continue our discussion on what we all want to be when we grow up. I want my own dance club, the Snake Pit. I want to be the wealthiest monster in the world. And I want to marry the wealthiest monster in the world. Rally, I do. I'm getting a job in the cannery, dude. <laughs> I want to do stand-up. Stand-down! Stand I want to be the first monster astronaut to fly into space. 
I flew on a jet once, but the turbulence made me lose my launch. You mean like this man? Then all these people started crowding around me. I was so embarrassed, I almost died. Again. But what about you, Vinny? What do you want to be? Hey, I can only be one thing, Teach. Cool. Oh! Cedar, <laughs> oh. <laughs> you all right? Come closer. So, did you hear the one about the priest, the rabbi, and the monster? What's all the racket in here? <gasps> Uh-oh. It's Sid, Headmistress Crone. He seems to be seriously ill. No, really, there's nothing wrong. I was just... Don't interrupt. We're concerned about you. Maybe we should take him to the school nurse. She ran off. What about a doctor? He ran off with a nurse. Really? There's no need. Then I'd better get him to community hospital. <sighs> That's a human hospital. <gasps> What's your diagnosis, doctor? Well, I don't see any problem. Of course, uh, I don't see any patient either. I'm not sick, I tell you. <laughs> That's what they all say. Hmm, this doesn't look normal to me. This should coat his tongue so we can get a good look at him. Come on, boy, open up. <coughs> Yuck! Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... Hmm, we need more tests. I hope I did the right thing. Maybe I shouldn't have left Sid all alone at the hospital. Calm down, Mr. Schneider. The faculty lounge is a place for rest and relaxation. Ah, uh, yes. We all come here to unwind between classes. Would you care to join me? It is tempting, Miss Dirge. But there's no way I can relax until I find out if Sid is all right. There, there, Mr. Schneider. I'm sure those human doctors won't find anything wrong with Sid. In fact, I'm sure they won't find Sid. Well, if you ask me, it's all Schneider's fault. Sid probably caught some nasty disease from you. I told you not to hire a human. <clears throat> Whatever happened to Monster Pride? Ignore him, Mr. Schneider. We're not all human haters, like Coach Cadaver. Yes, yeah, some of us even think that humans are cute. <laughs> it's almost visiting hour at the hospital. I'm going to take some of Sid's classmates over to see him. ta, -ta! Oh, and don't forget the faculty brunch on Sunday morning. It's open casket. I hope you like my new suit, JP. Can I get you anything else? Some back jerky would be nice. Shark surfing is radical, man. Yeah, little dude. They're more primo than jet skis. But they're a lot harder to turn. Turn? Yeah. I think I'll take a little dip. I need to practice my cannonball. Whoa, if she's getting in, I'm getting out. Hey! Mega Cannonball, dudette. You really thrashed that board. Okay, kids, let's hit the showers. We're going to visit Sid. Hit the human hospital? No way, Jose. Humans are creepy, man. You couldn't even pay me to go. Well, Teach, looks like we're not going. I'm really surprised. Sid's a monster just like the rest of you. I thought you'd at least be looking out for each other. But I guess you're just looking out for yourselves. Ah! Whoa! Teacher dude, overboard! <gasps> He's not breathing! We have to get him to the hospital. Forget it, man. I'm not going. Hey, wrong. We're all going. Hey, Bo, 
Don't you step on it, man. Mr. Schneider seems to be going into shock. Mm. Uh, I'm afraid this may be serious. I'm like shocked myself. Teacher dude is looking way trashed. Oh, great. That's all we need is another great deal stiff for a teacher. I hope he has a good life insurance policy. <laughs> Hey, yo, up there, Boneyard, shake a leg. This ain't no funeral, yet. Yeah, if we don't get Mr. Schneider to the hospital quick, he might not make it. I'm not used to driving on human roads, Cleo. I must observe and follow their peculiar habits. Well, open up. Something wrong, officer? Okay, wise guy. What excuse you have for running that red? <laughs> we are going to the hospital. Holy Toledo! A busload of accident victims. Follow me, I'll give you an escort. I hope we're not too late. No, we're right on time. Visiting hours have just started. He's recovered. It's a miracle. Whoa, mega miracle. Hey, that was no miracle. Teach tricked us into coming here. That's cool. Well, as long as we're all here, let's drop in on Sid. Don't worry, son. X-rays are perfectly safe. Oh, really? Then why are you fellas dressed for a nuclear meltdown? Hmm, just as I suspected. Yes, I'm afraid we'll have to remove his tonsils. Tonsils? Ouch, babe. I'm out of here, and I mean that. If I catch any human germs in here, Mr. Schneider, you're going to hear from my attorney. Hospitals hold bad memories for me, J.P. Last time I was in one, I died. Rally, I did. I know you kids are a little nervous, but just think how happy Sid will be when he sees your faces. Ah! <laughs> This is Sid's room, and that's Sid's stuff, but Sid's not here. At least I don't think he is. Sid, are you in here? At least he left his lunch. Mm. Cold and soggy, just the way I like it. You kids stay here. I'll go find the nurse. Ew, smells like your new perfume, Blanche. Rally it does. <gasps> well, I never... Uh, actually, this mixture appears to be a medicinal solution of magnesia mixed in with pink dye number 16. Whoa! This stuff tastes like surfboard wax. What are these doctor dudes trying to do to that poor little invisible dude? Waste him. We gotta find Sid, man. I say we split up and look for him. No one's taking out my tonsils. Heck, Sid. Buy a stage left, galloping all the way. Ah! An invisible man! Please don't hurt us, we're just kids. Hey, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm a kid too. Except I'm invisible. <laughs> I'm very ticklish too, darling. <laughs> hey, you're not scary. You're funny. Oh, you think that's funny? I bet you've never seen an invisible Michael Jackson juggle. I love you. I love you all. <laughs> <laughs> we love you too! Thank you for that warm applause. You're a beautiful audience. Too bad you're gonna be my last! I understand you haven't seen him, but you couldn't have seen him because he's invisible. Yo, Sid. <laughs> That's cool. Whoa, a snack bar. Cool. Sidney, where are you? What is this burn victim doing wandering the halls? Look at these bandages. Oh, I'll bet they haven't been changed in years. Two thousand years, and let me go. I have to find Sid. Ah, oh, babies are so cute. Even human babies. Kitchy, kitchy, coo. <laughs> babies just love me. Well, I can't find Sid, but at least I can do some shopping. 
Oh dear, you shouldn't be on your feet. Here, let me help you. Gracious, what service. Why, I must shop here more often. I concur, Doctor. These x-rays are inconclusive. Inconclusive? Why, it's perfectly obvious that the lumbar vertebrae is pressing on the sciatic nerve, causing severe back spasms. Hi, George, he's right. Ah! Check this out, little dude. I'm hanging six. Whoa, look out, geezer, dude. Yeah! Radical, tandem style. This is just wonderful. Not only have I lost Sid, now I've lost my whole class. You were right, Mr. Schneider. There was nothing to be afraid of. Hospitals are great. I got a full rewrap for free. Hey, refreshments ain't bad either. Uh, I got to make a diagnosis. I got to chew up the babies in the maternity ward. And I got to do some shopping. Really, I did. Whoa. It's a radical time, Gil, dude. This hospital place is the best, man. No, don't tell us. You're here to visit the invisible kid who just had his tonsils out. Tonsils out? <laughs> Sid, you're the greatest, but you better rest your voice. Thanks. You kids want to try some monster ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny. <laughs> well, what do you think, Mr. Schneider? You did it, Sid. Standing room only. Hey, kids, one of your favorite rap artists has a new show on NBC. So get ready to rap with Kid and Play, premiering next only on NBC.